What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be installing this pedal commander for my Toyota 4Runner. And this pedal commander is really just um, a throttle response device. It just opens up the throttle response for the 4Runner, which is a much needed product in my opinion. And we're going to test that out today. All right, so stepping in to the car right here, we're going to be opening up this pedal commander here. So it comes in a super nice packaging here. Once you open, it looks like you've got two wires. It's just a plug, plug and play into your throttle that you've already got in the car. Opening up into the bottom, looks like we've got some instructions. We've got Velcro that will attach to the pedal commander, which you can make look nice and simple inside your car. And it looks like we've got some alcohol wipes to clean the area with before we apply the Velcro to the pedal commander and the actual car. And then lastly, we've got some zip ties that will help clean up any loose wires I'm in the bottom of the car. All right, so stepping into the car here, we're gonna see some wires up here. So looking right here, we've got the wire up in this corner right here, which does connect to the throttle. All right, so stepping into the car right here, we're gonna see we have our throttle right here. Uh, like I said, this pedal commander is just gonna plug in right into this. So we see we've got the actual plug up in there. So we're actually going to be unplugging that. And then like I said, we're going to be plugging in this part of the pedal commander into that, and then plugging this into the throttle. All right, so now that we've got this unplugged up here, we're gonna plug in this part of the pedal commander into this and plug this one back into the throttle. It's gonna snap in like that. And then this one. Should all be connected now and now we're just gonna find a place to put this I'm kind of thinking of velcroing it right here on I think I'm gonna you know, velcro this right onto the side right here try to keep it out of the way a lot of people put it right here but then kind of blocks your airbag plus I've already got that controller for my sub. Um, so we've got all this excess wire that I think we're gonna tuck away up into here and Velcro some of it, not Velcro, but zip tie some of it and kind of clean it up a little bit and we'll be ready to go. All right, so let's hop in the vehicle. In the instructions it says to keep your, if you have a keyless entry, to keep the key about 35 feet away from the car because it'll tech power. Um, so we just went ahead and got the key. We're gonna go ahead and turn on the vehicle see if we get any sensors going off we're good not seeing any sensors it says keep the car for about five minutes before you unplug the throttle because it'll throw off the sensor but we've got the pedal commander right here um, so as you can see we power it on there's four modes, Eco, City, Sport, and Sport Plus. And once you pit, you're on City, you can press this to indicate one, two, three, or four. Um, so we're gonna keep it on two. I've heard City 2 is the best to keep it on. It's got the best time, I and mean, really the best for daily driving. Um, but it's got the City, Sport, and Sport Plus. Um, so it's also got a Bluetooth app. So whenever I Velcro it, down to this spot right here. I'm just gonna be using the app um, so I don't have to actually reach down here and change it every single time. Um, so let's get it connected to the app and let's do a drive test. All right, so what we've done, we're actually gonna attach it right here on the side and try to get it out of the way. Um, and we tucked all the wires up into here. Let me shine a light. We've tucked all the wires 
up in through here to really clean it up. Um, and so instead of using this every single time to change the pedal commander, we're gonna open up the pedal commander app right here. Um, and this is really gonna be what's gonna change it for me because instead of having to go down there and change it every time, you can just power it on and you can change between city, sport, eco, and support plus. It's all still the same four, and then say you increase uh, just plus one, plus two every single time. Um, so I'm gonna start with it in city two and let you guys know how it is. All right, so we're gonna take this thing for a drive. Now we went ahead and put it into city mode two to start off with just for the initial test here. Uh, I've heard city two is probably the most popular um, best driving mode to go in with just for daily driving. Um, and wh holy crap, wow. Just to start off right there, this it's so, so much quicker. I know a lot of people say wow the first time they start driving with the pedal commander. Uh, but I barely just accelerated and you barely have to press on the pedal, which I think was in my was my biggest complaint with this car. And I know a lot of people that are watching this that drive 4Runners or Toyotas can probably relate. It's like whenever you press down on the pedal just in a normal stock 4Runner with no pedal commander at all, it feels like you kind of have to mash the throttle into the floor and then for even to get any power it kind of takes like one or two seconds and there's like a delay almost um but this pedal commander kind of just erases that right off the bat and you, it's like right whenever you press down the pedal you immediately notice a difference there's power immediately instead of having to wait that one to two seconds um so right now the city two has been amazing we're actually going to stop and I'm gonna shift it into city four and kind of just go through initially just each mode. I mean, we'll go to sport and then sport plus. All right, so I went ahead and put it into sport four right here. I know this is a four runner. It's not supposed to be fast whatsoever, but I still wanna test out and see what sport four is even like because the city two, was money right off the bat. Um, I just want to see throttle wise. And it's still, it's like barely on, again, like I said, most of the throttle on the stock, you're pressing down here to even get the car to have any power. Um, but on the, with this pedal command, you're going from here to about here and you're automatically noticing power right off the bat. Um, so the sport, I mean, it's definitely a little more touchy than the city mode is. Um, but I think for me, I'd probably just stick in the city mode, honestly. Um, now that we've done the Sport, I'm going to switch over to Sport Plus, and we'll see how that compares to the Sport. Alright, so I've got the mode changed to Sport 4 now. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and the sport, sport Plus is even crazier. Again, this thing has absolutely no power. I've driven a couple cars that have a lot of horsepower, and this thing is still slow as I'll get out. I think the, the most important thing for people watching and kind of wondering if they should get a pedal commander, this thing's not going to increase horsepower or anything like that. It's not gonna make the car faster and add power. This is simply just opening up the throttle response within the car. I mean, it's all software, and it just makes, it's gonna feel faster but it's technically there's no more power being added to it it's really just increasing the throttle time and you can tell in sport plus this thing i'm pushing all the way down to the ground you can see it it pops up and what it really wants to go um which is cool to see but it, i mean again it's still a forerunner i'm not going to be racing or doing anything like that uh, but since we've done sport i'm going to switch it into eco and from what i have read and seen i believe eco mode just goes back to kind of what the normal stock one feels like um, so let me see so we've got it switched into eco mode and yeah eco mode goes it's almost worse than yeah it, it's definitely worse than stock so if you, if you buy this definitely don't put it into eco mode because that kind of just eliminates the whole factor of even getting the pedal commander and um, so just off of this quick 
little test. I'm probably, I'm, I'm gonna keep it in city mode. Um, that's the best that I've had, um, best driving experience I've had so far. Um, so yeah, if you guys were wanting to get this pedal commander, I'm gonna put a link down in the description below. I bought it from 4Runner Lifestyle. I've been um, buying a lot of stuff from their website. Really good group of guys um, that I've been buying from. Their customer service is great. Um, and they, this is like supporting a small local business. Um, you can buy it from the Pedal Commander website, um, but I kind of like to support other businesses, really the big brands that it comes from. Um, so if you guys liked the video, please drop a like. I appreciate everyone for watching this video. I mean, also press subscribe. Um, drop a comment down below if you guys what you guys want to see to this build. If you guys want to see me drive. A little bit more of a detailed review um, after about a week of is this purchase even worth it i can definitely do that uh, but yeah thank you guys for watching i hope you guys have a blessed day